Welcome to Morning Prayer for Tuesday of the fifth week of Lent and the Solemnity of St. Joseph, Husband of Mary. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Lord, open my lips and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Come, let us worship Christ the Lord, who for our sake endured temptation and suffering. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before Him, singing for joy. Know that He, the Lord, is God. He made us, we belong to Him. We are His people, the sheep of His flock. Go within His gates, giving thanks. Enter His courts with songs of praise. Give thanks to Him and bless His name. Indeed, how good is the Lord. Eternal His merciful love. He is faithful from age to age. Come, let us worship Christ the Lord, who for our sake endured temptation and suffering. The shepherds went in haste and found Joseph and Mary and the infant lying in the manger. O God, you are my God, for you I long. For you my soul is thirsting. My body pines for you like a dry, weary land without water. So I gaze on you in the sanctuary to see your strength and your glory. For your love is better than life. My lips will speak your praise, so I will bless you all my life. In your name I will lift up my hands. My soul shall be filled as with a banquet. My mouth shall praise you with joy. On my bed I remember you. On you I muse through the night, for you have been my help. In the shadow of your wings I rejoice. My soul clings to you. Your right hand holds me fast. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Father, Creator of unfailing light, give that same light to those who call to you. May our lips praise you, our lives proclaim your goodness, our works give you honor, and our voices celebrate you forever. The shepherds went in haste and found Joseph and Mary and the infant lying in the manger. Joseph and Mary, the mother of Jesus, marveled at what was said of their child, and Simeon blessed them. Bless the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Angels of the Lord, bless the Lord. You heavens, bless the Lord. All you waters above the heavens, bless the Lord. All you hosts of the Lord, bless the Lord. Sun and moon, bless the Lord. Stars of heaven, bless the Lord. Every shower and dew, bless the Lord. All you winds, bless the Lord. Fire and heat, bless the Lord. Cold and chill, bless the Lord. Dew and rain, bless the Lord. Frost and chill, bless the Lord. Ice and snow, bless the Lord. Nights and days, bless the Lord. Light and darkness, bless the Lord. Lightnings and clouds, bless the Lord. Let the earth bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Mountains and hills, bless the Lord. Everything growing from the earth, bless the Lord. You springs, bless the Lord. Seas and rivers, bless the Lord. You dolphins and all water creatures, bless the Lord. All you birds of the air, bless the Lord. 
all you beasts, wild and tame, bless the Lord. You sons of men, bless the Lord. O Israel, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Priests of the Lord, bless the Lord. Servants of the Lord, bless the Lord. Spirits and souls of the just, bless the Lord. Holy men of humble heart, bless the Lord. Hananiah, Azariah, Mishael, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Let us bless the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let us praise and exalt him above all forever. Blessed are you, Lord, in the firmament of heaven, praiseworthy and glorious and exalted above all forever. Joseph and Mary, the mother of Jesus, marveled at what was said of their child, and Simeon blessed them. Joseph rose in the night and took the child and his mother into Egypt. There they stayed until the death of Herod. Sing a new song to the Lord, his praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in its Maker. Let Zion's sons exult in their King. Let them praise His name with dancing and make music with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes delight in His people. He crowns the poor with salvation. Let the faithful rejoice in their glory, shout for joy, and take their rest. Let the praise of God be on their lips and the two-edged sword in their hands to deal out vengeance to the nations and punishment on all the peoples, to bind their kings in chains and their nobles in fetters of iron, to carry out the sentence preordained. This honor is for all his faithful. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Let Israel rejoice in you, Lord, and acknowledge you as Creator and Redeemer. We put our trust in your faithfulness and proclaim the wonderful truths of salvation. May your loving kindness embrace us now and forever. Joseph rose in the night and took the child and his mother into Egypt. There they stayed until the death of Herod. Lord God, you are God and your words are truth. You have made this generous promise to your servant. Do then, bless the house of your servant, that it may be before you forever. For you, Lord God, have promised, and by your blessing the house of your servant shall be blessed forever.
Joseph lived in the town of Nazareth to fulfill what the prophets had foretold of Christ. He will be called a Nazarene. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant, David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Joseph lived in the town of Nazareth to fulfill what the prophets had foretold of Christ. He will be called a Nazarene. The Lord is the giver of holiness. Let us turn to him and pray. Holy God, raise us up to new life in holiness. Lord our God, you called our fathers in faith to walk before you in holiness of heart. May we follow in their footsteps and obey your command to be perfect. You chose Joseph the righteous to care for your son in childhood and youth. Teach us to care for Christ's body by caring for our brothers and sisters. You entrusted the earth to mankind, to people it and make it prosper. Inspire us to work wholeheartedly in this world, seeking always to give you glory. Father of all mankind, do not forget what your hands have made. Grant that all who work may have secure employment and a fitting standard of living. Holy God, raise us up to new life in holiness. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Father, you entrusted our Savior to the care of Saint Joseph. By the help of his prayers, may your church continue to serve its Lord, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This has been Morning Prayer for Tuesday of the fifth week of Lent and the Solemnity of St. Joseph, Husband of Mary. Morning Prayer is produced in Dallas, Texas and brought to you by the Confraternity of Penitents. Sacred music is provided by the Benedictines of Mary, Matthew Curtis, and composer Kevin Allen. I'm David Rollins. Join us again weekdays as we continue to pray the unceasing and universal prayer of the whole people of God, the Liturgy of the Hours.